Hi, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode five, the final episode of this incredible game. I can't wait to see how this ends. We know that we are in some sort of big trouble right now as we are in a little meeting with the Crooked Man and, and his associates. Oh my goodness, please, Big B, please be okay. Episode five, Cry Wolf. Oh, wow. He does turn. Yep, I knew it. Snow's not going to be happy, but I am worried now. Look at the title, Cry Wolf. Oh, geez. Okay, okay. Come on, bring it on. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Hmm, poor Faith. <laughs> I let you live. You be nice. Not if I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he. If he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We're destroying the tree. Nope. No! <laughs> We're not burning the tree, Snow. <laughs> hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? No. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and... She doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Terrible. Oh God, Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Mm -hmm. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. Yes, we have to he try. He has to stand least. trial. We have to try. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right. Well, here we go. Okay, this is interesting. We don't. It's bringing the title screen immediately as we go into it. That's that is different than what we've seen so far. I'm very nervous for this outcome. I don't want anything to happened to poor Bigby I don't want him to like die I'm kind of actually worried you know like he always gets hurt and that doctor has been saying you know any any more and that's it for him he's gone and what he's up against now is some major major things I don't know if, how he's gonna go <sighs> You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? How can we? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends. And you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores. You know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. And that relationship's worked till these ends. Just what are you talking about? I've just been left in relative peace, I think puts it best. Allowed to live my own way. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. 
Sit down, Jersey. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Actually... <laughs> I know you did it. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I wish you had me dead to rights. I really do, for your own sake. But no, I didn't kill anyone. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Mary. It's right. a very okay. unfortunate okay. bit okay. of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? Well, then it has to be Mary, I hope you if don't it's still not think him. I did it. I have my bad habits, but manslaughter isn't one of them. It was Mary. It has to be her. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Huh? And I have complete respect for you okay. and your job. I really <laughs> do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transcripts. I'm a bad sheriff then. Well, if it's not him and it's not you Mary. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Exactly, You Come think on. I'm scared what? of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a- That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Oh, okay. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. All right, so he's Georgie. Did it. Okay. You okay. got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? I hate that guy. You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection protected. has limits. And I think you've far exceeded yours. <laughs> but you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with Things you. Things are unraveling. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're Things just going to let him do this. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage <laughs> after everything I've done for you? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with them, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really going to sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a yeah. fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. Oh, no, I'm going to You can to go be join here. that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? <laughs> I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. 
Why negotiate when you can just decide? Decide? Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh! <clears throat> Oh. Here we go again. I'll fight this guy again. He was pretty cool to fight. Take this! <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, wow, okay. You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. Wow, wow, wow. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. <laughs> Whoops. Was that a mistake? Ooh, whoa. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Alright, come on then. Come on, you want a piece too? You want a piece? Oh, they're getting out of here. Where where does that window take them? Do I have to smash this guy? Probably. Probably. Didn't give me another choice. Damn. Well, off we go. Where does this go? Where does this go? Come on, Doctor. Oh, oh, it just goes out in the Shit. street. I know. I know. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. This kind of reminds me of Terminator. Oh, I have limited time. That's my time down the bottom. Oh! Okay. All right, all right. Got to pay really close attention here. Wow! <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> Where are you guys? Where are you guys? It's a car with no bumper. We know that. He's so cool in beast mode, isn't he? Whoa! <laughs> He's awesome! Come on, baby, you got this. You got this. Oh yeah, come on. So we're on their car, but no, the Crooked Man was that car, damn it. Well, we've got Georgie, so... No! That's something, that's something. Come on! Take him off! I can't! Come on, come on! <laughs> ouch! That is not a nice thing to do. Come on, get back up and go, go. Whoa. Gun it! Are you sure? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Oh my god. Come on, clothes. Right. Okay. Is he gonna put on some clothes? Is that what he's doing? I don't know what he's doing there. Yep, he's just stolen someone, some random person's clothes. 
All right, what have we got? Georgie's blood. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Georgie um, did kill those girls under instruction from the crooked man. Why is it still letting me look at his car, hey? I feel that um, that shouldn't have let me keep doing that. Maybe we can get some more info. Come on, we can stay here. Uh, look at the blood. Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? He's gonna die, hey? Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. I... I... Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. Had to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Should've went after the crooked man, damn it. You're gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. Just leave it alone. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. She's got that ribbon, It isn't too, his so... fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, <laughs> knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! He did what you he can't fucking blame you. me for that. Look, I'm sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good for nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. Mm -hmm. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just trying I know what you were trying to do. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> well, fuck you. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Come in here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would happen? What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. Huh? It was them or Vivian. So you tell me. If free oh. Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. You don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. Original? The girl with the ribbon. 
I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. Oh. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. Oh. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. It does. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. <laughs> I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. No. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day! Stop it! I told you, sometimes all your options are shit. There's not what the fuck are you supposed way. to do then? We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... Just shut up! You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, there's wait. One, there's another way. Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Oh. 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 Vivian! Oh. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Damn it! Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> oh. What a mess. Oh, fuck! Get up. <sighs> Get up! Bigby, Don't think he so, can't. Bigby. He's dying. Oh my god. I'm gonna die here. Mm -hmm. I think we both know that. Yep. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Don't worry about the crooked man. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Nope, not well, at all. Whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. I can't make that choice. Let's not draw this out. Oh, 
chose to let him suffer. I didn't really want him to suffer. I what? didn't want to kill You're him. You're just going to leave me here. I won't be a killer, Georgie. No, I won't. You be. selfish bastard. Fuck you. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> All right. Okay, dude. Whatever, whatever you say. Okay, so now we got to go to the old foundry by the river for the crooked man. Damn. So unexpected. So unexpected. That I don't think this has gone very well. This has not gone very well. I feel that I have made grave errors in this. I don't like that we've lost both Georgie and Vivian just there in that. I honestly feel that it, it's gone wrong. <laughs> As always with me, isn't it? Still warm. He's here, all right. Mm -hmm. He's here. I should have just went after him in the first place. Why did I do that? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go then. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Of course. Come on. Use your muscles, Big B. You can do it. And you get. This is gonna be not good, is it? It's gonna be terrible. This the symbol. So this is where they've been sending these. Yep. There we go. The light just came on. It's weird. Okay. Look at those lights. It's awfully quiet. Big B Wolf. Miss Mary. The big bad wolf. <laughs> Where are you? Whoa, look at what? <laughs> look at that coffin with the chain on you it. You used to be something. Whoa. Wow, wow. She has been, or well, they have been following him for a long time. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Who? That's that, the crooked wheel, right? Bleach, hammer. They've been putting people on that wheel. Jeez. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. This is really cool. I, I, I love exploring this place. They've made this, they make silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wall. Don't let her bother you, Big B. Wow. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, Big B. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Mm -hmm. really? Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. <laughs> I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. This is just sad. We're gonna do it. It's on. It's on then. I didn't really want to fight in that moment, but she doesn't give us much choice, does she? That is a vat of some hot liquid. Is it silver in there or? Oh, okay. <laughs> She is super, super duper fast. I don't think we are as fast as that. We can try our best. get a bit a bit quicker Ooh, okay I'm ready I'm ready oh I'm still too slow <laughs> oh damn it I'm so slow where are you this is impossible come out and face me oh oh jeez Oh, wow, wow, no way. Oh, wow. Okay. She's kind of scary like that. Reminds me of the spirit in Dead by Daylight, you know, with the glass shards. Oh, oh okay. She is not a nice person. She is wanting to hurt our poor Mr. Wolf very much. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay. We're in our full form. We have a little bit more strength now. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. something else. Oh, what? Mirrored pieces of her. Oh, jeez. This is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, this is not good. This is really, really terrible. We can't fight all these. Sorry. No, what are we going to do? What am I gonna do here? Oh, come on! No, this is impossible. We're not gonna be able to do this. He can't do all this. He can't do it. I think he's gone. Oh my God! Yep. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, he's amazing. I've got to be better. Oh. Wow. He has to find the real her. None of these have been so far. Oh, jeez. Oh. Mr. Wolf. 
You are impressive. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on then. He has so much of half and puff cigarettes so he can blow everyone away like that. That's the real one. That's her. Yep. That's you. That's disgusting. That looks like the mirror piece that was missing. No! What? She's gone? Did we actually manage to do it? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, he's incredible. He's amazing. <laughs> wow. Mhm. Mm there we go. We did it. What else do you have? Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Mm. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? Yes. And that's what I want. That's what you want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Mm hmm Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Yes, yeah, she probably Can would. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? He's got something else planned. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. Yeah, because you make other people do your you dirty work. That. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. That's fine, you can have your you're chance. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Justice. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? I assume so, My yes. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? 
I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. What is the My deal with this? My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, well, let's right, just let's go. go. Let's just Hand go over then. the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. Once we get him back, he's, he'll be going to jail anyway. I don't have any option but to take Fine. this gun. Oh, he just dropped it. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a okay. reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Well, that's what Snow White wanted. She wanted us to bring him back. And he, for some reason, wants to get brought back too. My last cigarette. I know, I know. Would you all change? We have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Just a little after bit. After what happened with Mary. <laughs> it's nothing, I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but <laughs> that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking I've well. Been busy. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking to crook. This. You should Fucking be ashamed. Shit. Why did he want Everyone, this? can I have your attention? Why did he want to get Thank you all for coming here? here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. But I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Does he have does he have anything well, we can get him on? Is it? Georgie may have oh, killed come them, on. but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? He's ya? dead now. Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel oh, now? No, no, is no. he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. Oh, no. no that doesn't change get away with this. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. Mm -hmm. and I was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. <laughs> A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you <laughs> stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. If you wanted a chance to talk, he doesn't we'll need go his ahead. Chance to we talk. all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? Because it's a fair trial. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. 
These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where realm. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then. But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, exactly. we have to start exactly. doing things correctly. We know that no he's more guilty. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. But we still we are going to... to treat everyone yeah. fairly, exactly. even when they don't deserve it. Exactly. I don't trust this, this guy, though. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is fucking bullshit! You have always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. If you were so offended by it, why'd you cover it up then? If it had nothing to do with you and your shit, then why'd you try to protect him for so what long? What cover up? I never made any attempt to hide Georgie's criminal activity from you. I learned of it myself for only fuck's recently. For sake. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. <laughs> When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? Yes, I but... I asked questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking it about? It was a trap, definitely. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. They get a bit carried away sometimes. Carried away? <laughs> too. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Oh no. What's he talking about? I think you're done talking. What are you afraid of? Oh no. Why not let an old man say his piece? Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? No. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. But not with their best interests yes, in mind, you know? <sighs> You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Oh no, Her story this is all uncommon. gone wrong. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. Jeez. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the mm -hmm. Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your this tree. Is bad. This is all gone bad. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. 
But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. It's I true. can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. Mm-hmm. Yes. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. Yes. You're finally. all still afraid of him, even now. Mm hmm. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Whew. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, Damn it. I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What mm -hmm. do you mean there's no evidence? Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel oh, right. Oh, no. We're doing this. Come on, guys. I just of need. course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time. Yes? You yes. told him to do it, though. Of course. Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be able oh, to Oh, come on. He's such a smooth talker. Well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? I've been nice he to was him. He beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. I was nice to him oh, the I whole time. Right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Exactly. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before That's you decided stupid. to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. Yes, they but... They won't scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to... Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to... Yeah. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's she She's doing She's gonna here? take her ribbon off. She can talk. I'd like to- I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. 
I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. <laughs> you enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Mm -hmm. Did you kill her? Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Mm -hmm. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. Mm -hmm. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. <laughs> and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of yes. a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up mm -hmm. on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Yep. Good enough for me. Me too. Finally. <laughs> so that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. What does Auntie Greenleaf want though? What, why well is she trying done, to stop man. everyone? Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can what imprison we him, lock, lock him, him up, up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's not good him. enough. Maybe there will be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't get it. So we get rid of him. So we can send him away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's going to be the deputy mayor. But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? Oh. He was appointed. He's no. <laughs> the only official representative, really. Oh, no. Okay, he should what be the judge. Pick? That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. I'm killing more in prison here. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, oh, okay. it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Well, killing him is... Yes, Sheriff. Do what Rip you think is off. right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. I think Not we should... This way. Oh, damn it, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> Wow. Well, I was gonna lock. I was gonna lock you up. There you are. But if you want it this way, remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, sheriff. Please, we can still end it already. What should I do? Lock him up or throw him? I don't know. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. It shouldn't be an eye for an eye, you know. We should lock him up for his punishment. I don't know how many other people agree with, um, agree with that.
I don't know. What, what what did everyone else do? It really depends what the laws are in this town. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. Oh, what? He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. <laughs> Thanks, Greenleaf. He's a bird now. Let's just call it even. That's so funny. Hey, Sheriff. Are you going to come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. <laughs> this fucking line. <laughs> Hey, Jack. Tim. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care She's of it. She's so busy working. <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? She needs some help. She needs some assistance. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. What is he doing there? All right. Someone's gonna <laughs> hey, Colin. see you, Colin. <laughs> he is so cute. Look at him. He walks like one of my cats. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Oh, you don't have to go to the farm, Mr. Toad. Oh, Garlin! Jesus! Come on, just get some glamours. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. <laughs> forgot these oh thank you it's uh, been pretty busy around here <laughs> morning sheriff nice fucking day oh i don't want him to go yeah. oh, shit just go grab that would you hmm. sorry about all this uh, i tried to help just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away huh? i didn't do enough. you promised me i'll get another chance but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. I thought we were going to give him another chance. You know, we you know, didn't get a chance to. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice. Hmm. So. I don't want them to go. What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Oh. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you <laughs> if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about mm. ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. No, God, I hope not. that's not gonna happen. Do we have to go? No. I wanna stay here. Well, we don't have a choice oh, anymore. Oh, come on, this is... <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, That okay? sucks. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. No, but we'll come I'm and visit. Not. Some of the animals aren't comfortable <laughs> around the wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Hmm. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Go and hey, visit Big, them, Big B sometimes. Where's okay? your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Damn it. <laughs> oh. 
That's not fair. Saying goodbye? We said we were trying to help him. Is that, um... Is that Cinderella? Who is that? Hi. Hi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I couldn't Still tell wearing. from across the road. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. Mm. Weird, it's weird. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Yeah, okay, 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 I get it. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Yeah? I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. Mm -hmm. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Yeah. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? I had to. Hang Marissa, on. what did you do? Hang on. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. Mm. We could just forget the whole thing. Oh, Maybe no. try again in a few years. You what? So I told him oh, no, no. everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Mm. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> she doesn't want any comfort at all, damn. I just shouldn't. I shouldn't. I don't I know what happened. Comfort but that night at the club... Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. Yeah. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. Mm -hmm. You'll make things right. You and Snow. Yes. I don't know. I'm trying. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. <laughs> I just can't win with these people. <laughs> I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. 
I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Yes, he has, he has. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <laughs> I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around, Wolf. What? <laughs> what was that at the end? What was that at the end? Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at our choices. What did you do to Georgie? You and 31% of players left Georgie to die. Oh, it's because I didn't want to kill him. I didn't really want to kill anyone. <laughs> Did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89% of players have brought the Crooked Man back alive. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. How did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 47% of players chose to imprison the Crooked Man. Okay, so most people, I think, killed him. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? You and 98% of players decided to accept TJ's gift. Good. What were your last words to Nerissa? You and 54% of players said, I hope I've done some good here. That's a very common, very common response that. Oh, special stats. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You help him to avoid the farm. Crooked man, you took him back to the witching well. You imprisoned him. Faith, deceased. I don't know about that. Georgie deceased. You left him to die. Nerissa, you tried to take her ribbon off in Bigby's office. Yes, we did. Snow, you showed her Crane's photograph. Oh my goodness. Okay, that ending. That ending when Nerissa walked away and we heard all of those little quotes that were that were happening from the past. I don't know if this is if this is true, but I feel that Nerissa is actually faith um and faith and oh it's so confusing but faith has glamoured herself to look like nerissa and maybe it wasn't um oh but then how did she die oh i'm so confused i'm so confused i i do feel that nerissa is actually faith in some way but i haven't yet put together the pieces of 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 why because when surely when Georgie murdered because if Nerissa had oh it's so confusing <laughs> if you guys know how this works please let me know but at this moment I am thinking that Nerissa is actually glamoured to be Faith or she's been Faith all along I, I'm pretty sure this that's what that ending was, wasn't it? That's what that ending was. But I don't know how it all fits together. I don't know how it all works out. But this game was fantastic. I've loved this journey so much. It was such a great little mystery. It had so many deep twists and very dark twists. Like, 
oh my goodness, it was very violent in many places. So many awful things <laughs> that we've seen happen to some of these characters. But I'm quite happy with our ending. I think I'm quite happy with it, you know. We've turned um, the crooked man into a crow and he's going to go live on the farm with the toad. Even though, like I said to him that he could stay, I don't even know if he would if he would actually spend the money on on glamours anyway. He didn't really seem to ever be like an honest kind of person, Mr. Toad. I did like him though, and I would be happy for him to stay, but with Snow in charge, she seems very particular with her rules, so he probably wouldn't be allowed to stay, would he? He would have to get pushed off to the farm if he kept refusing to buy his glamours. Well, that was The Wolf Among Us. I really, really enjoyed this. This is now one of my very last Telltale games to play. I only have one left and it's Guardians of the Galaxy and as I have not yet watched that movie I don't know when I'm going to be able to play that. I think that's just going to have to go back on the list <laughs> and we'll cover some more things between now and then. But this has been a fantastic journey through all of the Telltale games. I've loved them all so much and I'm so happy to see that Telltale has reformed and we're going to see another Wolf Among Us too at some point that they're working on that at the moment, aren't they? Well, that's it. I actually have loved this a lot. Mr. Bigby Wolf, he looks incredible in his wolf mode. That was fantastic. Oh. I love it. I love I loved this game a lot. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. It's just been such a wild ride. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you again really soon. Bye.